Welcome to Board Game Empire. We're going to be showing you a brief overview and review of Mystic Veil. Vale. This is the Essential Edition. We are just showing the base game, but just so you know, the Essential Edition includes this really nice player mat that helps with the layout of the cards. It also includes the first three expansions, which are Veil of Magic, Veil of the Wild, and Mana Storms. And we looked it up, we were shocked. This game has 13 expansions, right? Yeah. I think 13, 12, 13 expansions. It has a lot of expansions. And came out in 2016. Right. So basically, um, this is, uh, we played this several days ago. So this is the setup that you're seeing. You're going to have um, two levels of Veil cards that you'll be setting, shuffling the decks. Sh level one, level two. Always have four cards out to choose from. Here are your advancements, which are really cool. You use these by placing them inside of your one of your cards in your deck so it's um you're always upgrading your deck in that way instead of you'll always only have 20 cards in your deck but there's several blank ones so you're always going to be improving on the cards you have in your deck but with these advancements um so there's level three level two level one and then you also have fertile soil cards with um, the Fertile Soul and all three positions that are always only cost two um, mana to purchase. These are all between uh, anywhere from two to ten mana, I believe. Yeah. Um, and so, but these, as you can see, these advancements provide you with more mana each time uh, once you have it in your card, in your deck. So, you're basically... Try, pulling your, your hope, it's a lot of push your luck in this deck, in this game. There's one of four decks. I like the backs of the decks. I think they're really cool looking. So you're going to choose whatever color deck you want. Everyone has the same deck, 20 cards. You're going to start out the game by pulling cards until you show... Wow, this is a good pull. Um, two cursed lands in your field. Wow. This is unheard of. And then you keep going until you have a third cursed land on top of your deck. Yes, so <laughs> this will be amazing pull the very first of the game if you actually was able to do this. So I would have one, two, three, four, five mana to spend right off the bat. These blank ones, um, you can you can upgrade any of these with the advancement. So five would get me quite a bit. Like I could purchase. Level, level two, two <laughs> if I wanted. Um, and so you would also be able to purchase a level one because there are two and a three costs. For, yeah, you so. can purchase a total of two of these each turn. So I could do multiple ones if I wanted to. So that is a really good pull. Normally you get two cursed lands and a cursed land there. This is unheard of. But as you can see, you will be doing this in the beginning. You're planting your the planting phase. That's what this is called. Um, I would have the choice if I wanted to, when it comes back around to me, if I want to push, I would be crazy to push, but if we'll just do it for giggles. So you would continue by, so right there, I would have, I would have already Decayed. spoiled. Yeah. Um, once you get your fourth cursed land, so I would have to discard this. And we don't have those tokens out here, but these tokens, there's a blue side and a brown side. When you spoil, you turn it to the blue side. That gives you, it looks like a, a mana. You get to spin that mana anytime. So then you would just set up your... And that's throughout the game until you use it and then it turns over. This is more of a normal pull at the first of the game. You set up your next field and then it goes to the next person. But if I hadn't have pushed, say I wanted to, I was a was smart and didn't push on that and I decided to spend my five mana I would just choose any one of these I could choose one or two say I wanted to purchase this one I could choose any card I want to put this on um, it does have a guardian symbol so I may want to start a new card for my guardians because they are cards that play off of other guardians you get more more resources and things based on how many guardians are on the card and then once you're done, you would just put this in your discard and plant your next field. Um, eventually, you will start getting symbols on these cards that are the yellow star, the brown paw. This one is wild. 
This one is on the. This one is wild. This one has all um, three symbols. And the green plant. So you're trying to collect those, and it shows uh, those are on the advancements that you're upgrading your cards with to purchase these veils. So this one would cost you a yellow and a green. If you have these purples, they can be used for any symbol. These veils help you a lot in the game. They either have in-game points, which are here, um, and the victory points are represented by these tokens. There's only a certain amount of victory points. I think in a three-player game, there was 28. Once those are gone, the, uh, you end the round. Everyone gets an equal amount of plays, and the game is over. And then each person counts up their... They add up their points they have in tokens, plus any in-game points they have. So there's a lot of in-game points on these bales. There's also benefits. This one is at Harvest, which is when you're purchasing... You gain two additional mana, and you may buy a third advancement. So it allows you to buy three, and it's giving you two additional mana. This one, once per turn, choose a card in your field or on deck. That card gains one guardian until the end of the turn. So see, that could help you if you're collecting guardians to really build up. Um, this one's a great one. I use this, this type of several times. Because they're pretty inexpensive to purchase, and if you're focusing on those symbols a lot, which I did, I had a, I had quite a few of these bell cards. Uh, I think I had like eight, didn't I, or something. Um, if you were to spoil, you may discard this guard card to gain one. Um, it's a tree. It's a tree that offsets the cursed. So this is the cursed land. That red for each red you have, that's um, your curses in your field. The green tree offsets those. Um, You're able to obtain them also on cards. Right. And there was several of these veils that really helped me. There was one, oh, during harvest, I gained one of those wild resources every time. Once I bought that one, I was able to purchase one of these every round. It was That's how I obtained so many. Because I was getting, I had a ton of symbols every time that I pretty much was purchasing one or two almost every round um, after a few rounds of course but so gathering a lot of those symbols really helped me and um, to win the game I was I had quite a bit more points than you guys didn't I we tied oh did we tie yeah oh we tied but what was the tiebreaker I forget but yeah and these cards too you're able to gain points these this is one that you gain points every time it uh, comes up. And then also the one on the very right. That's in-game. That, that's in-game points. But then there's also, um, like, there'll be cards with certain uh, information on the side. Like this one, it's an in-game. This card is worth one victory point at the end of the game for each symbol, symbol on this card, ignoring text effect. So there's in-game bonus uh, cards. There's cards that have do different things with, uh, with text in the bottom. And so there's a lot of different things. In the I can't game. remember what the tiebreaker was now, but we did tie. I forgot about that. Was yeah. it the amount of veil cards? I think so. It was either veil cards or, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was veil and level three. No, level two. Level I thought two. it was level three. No, level two advancement. It was the total amount of veils plus your level, one of these level advancements. If you, mm -hmm. whoever had the most of those. Yes, yeah, so I was, I, when you said level two, I think. I can't remember. Or was it level three? I think it was level, level three. Yeah, it was level three. Okay. I think we each had one of these, but I had more veil cards. No, I had three. You had four. Of the level three. I don't remember. It's been a few days, but <laughs> we. I forgot we did. We did tie in our victory points, she which thought, I was surprised. Oh, she smoked. Me. I was doing very well. I like, had she, way more of these. She always thinks she's got <laughs> like. Clean sweet plus. And I was killing them because every time I was just buying these like crazy. I mean, they didn't focus on these. I was surprised. Like, I focused on those right away. I think Quentin focus, focused on the... End game bonus points. In game and the Guardians a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can... Strategies you can do in this game. And we haven't even... We haven't even tried the expansions yet. This box has three more expansions in it, so we're excited to try those out. And I was shocked when I saw this game had like 12 more expansions. Yeah, we, this is one of our top games. We will be seeking out some more of the expansions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, in a, you're planting, harvesting, 
um, discard in your field and then you plant again. I mean, it's that every time. And I know that sounds repetitive, but it's really, it's really not because yeah. there's so many choices of what you can choose from to, or, and the pushing makes it fun. The pushing, you're going to be pushing a lot because yeah. especially early game, you're not going to have much. So you're just going to, we get to the point where all these fertile soils are gone or you really just don't want those anymore. You want to advance further. So you're going to want more mana in your field. So pushing um, when you hardly have anything out there is really not a big loss. But especially later in the game when you have your deck really built up, it's it's easier to you you'll have like all you'll have a big fan of cards out because you for me especially I had a lot of those green trees that canceled out the curse or that allowed me to discard the next card. There was one that lets you discard the next. Uh, any previous cursed card or any previous card in general but you're going to do the cursed ones so there was a lot of cards that you're purchasing that kind of helps you um cancel those out so you get even more out there so you, in the near end game you're going to be willing and dealing a lot and have a huge selection of what you want to purchase on here so it just makes it more a lot of it makes it exciting and fun to mm. and um trying to edge out your opponents so what did you think of this game i really like the components um now this is a central edition so it's, uh, it has some uh extra stuff that i guess the uh or i guess the base retail game doesn't have um i think that matt pretty much uh does it provides a very good uh base right. where you know where all the cards are supposed to be and it also allows it where it doesn't move um i really like we we i noticed we enjoyed the transparent cards where you're putting it in different um kind of like building your own thing like canvas and what was it gloom um those type of games where you're building stuff uh, i really do like that that mechanics in that games um but the components are phenomenal. The cards are nice and thick. Um, it also comes with the sleeves, uh, the central edition, uh, of course, because you're sliding it, the, you know, your market cards in, inside them. So, and the illustration is easy to see, uh, the font's easy to read. So really great components. Um, as far as mechanics, I really like the mechanics. Um, like I said, I love the mechanics where you're, it has a transparent cards and you're putting and you're building them. Um, it's a kind of like a point solid game. That's one of our favorite type of games. It also has a push your luck element, which we really enjoy. Uh, so it has a lot of the mechanics that we really enjoy in games. Um, and they just combined it and flows very smoothly, uh, no fidelity. So great uh, mechanics. Uh, replayability, high replayability, um, not just from the base game because it does have like 12, 13 expansions. Uh, I think you, you probably play this for the rest of your life. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with more. I mean, why stop at 12 or 13? <laughs> I mean, just continue. Each year, bring one. So really cool. Um, high replayability. Uh, so overall total, I'm giving this like a 9 out of 10. Uh, this might go up as we play the expansions and introduce more mechanics, more things you can do. But... As far as the base game, phenomenal. I really like this game. I think this is, uh, and this is from 2016. Surprised we never bought it and played it. Um, this is a phenomenal game. I think that uh, if you're bored, I mean, we played probably two, 300 games. And this game is one of those top, one of the top games that we played. And it's even from 2016. So don't overlook it just because it's from 2016. It's still an amazing game. So nine out of 10. Yeah, Quentin also gave this a 9, right? I think it was like a 9.8 or something. Yeah, Quentin loved, he loved this game. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't beat us. It's, he had a hard time, for some reason, the push figuring luck out the, the, the planting, like yeah. when you stop and the push your luck when, you're, when you stop how you stop. Like, uh, for some reason, that tripped him up. But once he got it, he was he yeah he started doing phenomenal yeah. the last three rounds but so, it was done so if he had understood it from the beginning more um i think he kind of spaced out when we were 
teaching and watching the video on how to play this game and, and learning it. We read the book too, but I think he spaced out on that a little bit, but <laughs> that cost him the game. Yeah. So, but I really enjoyed this game. I also give this a nine and, and I'm excited to play the expansion. We actually wanted to play the expansion the very next day, one of them, but um, time just didn't allow for that. So we will definitely be pulling this out again soon and checking out at least one of those expansions. But um, a phenomenal game. I do love the, the components with the transparent cards where you're building on your deck and everyone's starting out with the same deck. It, um, so you kind of have the same opportunities. It's just um, the luck part is what you draw from your deck. But but you're controlling that by building it so it those those draws get less and less luck because you're basically building your deck and you can offset those curse cards by, by the advancement. So like I said, in the near end of the game, the last several rounds, you are, you have so your deck built up so much. Like you, you'll just be pulling cards sometimes maybe close to your whole deck just because you've offset them so much. So yeah, you will have a lot of currency to work with, and it, it's just exciting, especially because some of these level three cards cost 10, and so it's fun when you're getting to that level and you can purchase those, because those really are game changers. And like I said, the veil cards with those symbols, purchasing, that's every turn near the end, like I could have bought more than two. I had plenty of symbols. So it was just a matter of like, which one benefits me the more, which, which two benefit me the most. So, um, that, that makes this game exciting and there's a ton of cards and then you have the expansions. So, and I absolutely love the player, the, not the player, the map that it comes with. I, um, it does make a big difference when you're setting up this game, it makes it just easy to keep everything organized. That's to me is if you're going to, if you don't have this game yet and you're going to get it, I would buy the essential edition. I think it's yeah. like $72 yeah. on Amazon, but you're getting four games. You're getting this map, the base game and three expansions. So if that's $72 on Amazon, it means like, um, uh, game nerds and different, um, like board game, uh, online stores, you'll find them probably normally uh, 15 to $20 less. So. Yeah, so if you are interested in this game, I would get the Essential Edition because then you've got this cool mat and once, if you are if you like it as much as we do and end up buying more expansions, I mean, the mat works, is it's the base for all of them, so it's definitely worth it if you're going to get it. Um, but highly highly recommend this game we will put the link for the essential edition in the description if you want to check it out for yourself hopefully this video helped you to decide whether it's one you want to add to your collection uh, this is definitely our cup of tea this is yeah. our right in our wheelhouse of type of games that we enjoy yeah. so um if you followed us for a while you and you kind of have the same taste as us you should check this out because it's it's we thoroughly enjoyed it and so did Quentin we we loved it um so hopefully again uh, you'll give us a like uh, feel free to leave a comment or a question we hope you're already subscribed but if not please subscribe to our channel thank you again for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time Bye.